After signing up with us, one feature is our online dashboard. The point of this video is to highlight some of the main features that the dashboard has to offer. To go to the dashboard, you would go to mydashboard.voicenation.com. And once you get directed to that page, it will ask for a username and password. Your username will either be your account number, which is six digits long, or your Voice Nation phone number that is assigned to your account. If you ever forget your password, you can always use the forgot password link that will send an email to you so you can reset the password. Once you're logged in, you will be redirected to this page. This is your home page. So you can see that these blue boxes are some easy access tools. This blue box right here, this will be a good tool for you because it will help keep track of your minutes. So you can see how many minutes you've already used out of your bundled minute plan. The orange box right here, this is going to be a good tool for you to get your messages in a quicker fashion. If you go to the inbox tab on the left hand side of the screen, it will go to all the messages and all the calls that we take for you. So you can see that underneath this prompt column is all the information we're collecting from the caller. So you can see account name, first and last name, phone number, and all the information. So all I did was click on that gray bar and a new window will pop open. So you can see more details about that call. You can see deliveries. So you can see that this message was sent to an email. If you had transferring incorporated into the script, you can see events. So you can see if the transfer was successful, if it wasn't and why not. To the right hand side of this window, you can also see call history. So you can see how many times that specific number has called you and even the dates and times it called you. You'll see underneath this prompt column, it, sometimes it's gonna say no message. So these no message calls could be those telemarketer calls, automated calls, calls like that. To view why there was no message sent, again, you would just click along this gray bar right here and the new window will pop open. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the date and time and it will say cancel call or hung up. And this is another view to see call history to see the dates and times that number has called you. When we go to the setup options tab, you have a couple of tabs within this setup options section. When you go to company information, you can see all the information that the operators have listed with your account. So this information is what is visible to the operators. So at any point you need to update the company address, the fax number, the main phone number, any of the company information, you can always come to your dashboard, edit that information. You would hit save at the very bottom and that will be updated in real time for our operators to give out to your callers. The next tab is employee setup. So right now we just have this generic office employee name. Right now we actually just have Mary Poppins as the employee. And when you click the pencil icon underneath Mary Poppins, you can see the number, the text number, and the email address. At any point you need to update the email address or the phone numbers, you can definitely come here, edit that information, and hit save again. And that will be updated in real time as well. You can add an employee with this little button in the upper left hand corner. If they do need to receive a text message, we do need to know the phone carrier for that specific number. Another tab is call handling setup. So this tab is basically your script. The top section of the page, we have your greeting, your time zone, whether or not we are answering service or receptionist. The bottom half of the page are your types of calls. So you can choose which type of call you need to edit by just hitting the little pencil icon underneath the actions column. You're able to add fields, delete fields, if we're collecting too much information or not enough information. And this is where also you would tell the script where the messages need to be sent to. And when you're done editing, you would just hit save and that will be updated in real time as well. And in the future, if you find out that we need to handle a certain type of call differently than what we're doing already, you can always use this blue button in the middle of the page. It says add instructions for new call type. It's a step-by-step -step wizard, so it'll basically walk you through the process. But if you do need more assistance or you do need more customization than what it can do, you can always use this need help section at the very bottom of this page. You can just list out instructions on exactly what you need. That will get sent to our support team and they'll help build a script for you. If you had an on-call schedule pre-programmed during your onboarding process, 
The on-call setup tab is where you can add new schedules or edit current schedules that are already happening. We also have a reports tab. This is where you can generate all sorts of kind of reports right here. You can export this data into a CSV file for marketing purposes or just for your personal records. We also have a billing tab. And in this billing section, we have an account info tab where you can edit your billing address. So if you ever need to update the billing address or the credit card on file, you can come here, edit that information and hit save and that will be updated in real time as well. We also have a statement section. So just in case in the future, um, of course you're gonna get your statement emailed to you at the first of every month. But if you just wanna view your monthly statements, you can come here, you can see more details about them, you can email them to someone specifically, or you can print them out for your records. We also have a make payment tab within this billing section. So let's say the credit card on file got lost or stolen or anything like that. You can always come to your dashboard and make a one-time payment instead of having to go through our billing department. Then last but not least is that support tab at the very bottom. This will be another good tool for you. We have a knowledge base that has a couple of articles of frequently asked questions. You can submit a support ticket through your dashboard. You can live chat with a support representative through your dashboard. And of course, we listed our phone number there for you so you can obviously give us a call.